blood vessels. We're going to compare arteries, veins and capillaries. The function of an artery is to take blood away from the heart. The function of a vein is to take blood back to the heart. And the function of a capillary is the exchange of materials. The muscle in the walls. Here is a diagram of a cross-section of muscle. It has lots of muscle in the wall and a very small lumen. A lumen is the inside of a tube. The vein has a large lumen with only a little bit of muscle in the walls. Capillaries, being only one cell thick, which is about 8 micrometres, have no muscle in the walls. And a very tiny, a super small lumen. They can only fit a red blood cell. The pressure in the arteries is a lot because the left ventricle is a very strong muscle itself. So the pressure generation is the left ventricle. The pressure in a vein is not very much at all because it has to slow down for the exchange of materials in the capillaries. Therefore, it needs to generate more pressure from the muscle pump as the vein goes through the middle of a muscle. Then we go to capillaries. It has no muscle in the walls at all because it's so small and there's no pressure at all. Okay? Valves. Arteries don't have valves because valves stop the backflow of blood. Because arteries are under so much pressure, it's no risk of it ever going backwards. Veins have valves. Not only do they have the muscle pump pushing on the vein, but valves allow the blood to only go in one direction and not go backwards, and capillaries don't have valves because they're too small. So then the pressure returning to the heart, the arteries move away from the heart, not towards the heart. Capillaries are in the middle of the arteries and veins, so out of the equation. And veins only have a little bit of pressure to allow themselves to get back to the heart to start the cycle again.